All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. As always, if you learned something, go ahead, hit that like button, leave a comment, and make sure you ring the bell so you get a notification when I drop a new video. You can also follow me on Twitter at Anthony Smoke. So today, I uh, just want to talk to you here. Um, I want to talk to you about what it takes or what tools you need to know to start a career in data, right? You want to be a, a data analyst. And so I decided to make this video because um, a lot of people have been asking me this question here lately. So um, there's interns on my job uh, that have come up to me. I, I, I help teach interns as they come into my uh, my company, they've asked me this question. I've had people that are currently in my consultancy, um, not in data, reach out to me, ask, how do I get started in data? What are the hard tools that I need to know? You know, I give them an answer. People will send me emails asking the same thing. So I decided, well, I'm, let me just go ahead and make a video and share it with you. So we're going to talk about what are the hard tools that you need to know in order to have uh, a successful data career, right? Be a data analyst. So um, first thing people will ask, do I need a degree in computer science? And I would say, uh, you don't need a degree in computer science. Um, full disclosure, I have a degree in computer science. Um, computer science isn't necessarily how to program. You learn how to program, but that's not what computer science is. You can go anywhere and learn how to program. Um, it's about how you solve problems. It's a way of thinking, right? If you're an astronomer, um, astronomy isn't just about how to use a telescope. <laughs> you know, you're using physics, you're using chemistry, you're using these, these disciplines, mathematics. Um, how to use a telescope, that's not astronomy. Same thing with computer science. How to use a computer, not necessarily computer science, although it is a tool you, you do use. So I would say it helps to have a computer science degree or computer science background, but it's not necessary. Don't give up hope if you do not have a computer science background. And so I would say I have uh, an article called um, Keys for Success as a Data Analyst. Okay, you can Google that or I'll put a link down in the in the description. Uh, you can go ahead and read that. But this, what I'm telling you, is kind of like a, uh, an, a visual version of that article. I would say the article has a little bit more detail, but uh, go check that out. But definitely listen to me here. So I would say the first tool that you need to know how to use, and it's not a tool, sorry. So the first skill set I would say you need to learn how to use um, is SQL. You cannot call yourself... Uh, a data professional without knowing some SQL, at least not be taken seriously as a data professional if you do not know some SQL. So again, I started my career as a data analyst. Um, I've worked 20 years around data, spent the last seven and a half years in consulting, data and analytics uh, consulting, uh, and now I'm a senior manager as of uh, this video. So. Um, I know what I'm talking about here. You need to know SQL um, to be taken seriously. That should be your number one priority. Now, it's one of those things that it's uh, easy to learn, um, hard to master. You can learn the things you need to learn uh, in SQL um, without having to get deep, deep, deep into some of those edge cases that uh, you'll only use maybe 1% of the time, if ever. So learn some basics, some basics like select, uh, you know, select from where, uh, learn how to filter, um, learn about the group by statement, learn basic functions, uh, min, max, average, learn how to join tables together, okay? You need to know about uh, your inner join, uh, your outer joins, uh, learn how to union things together, union your data together. 
Um, and then it definitely helps to know uh, a little bit about database, just learn what a primary key is. So just these basic things will go a long way uh, towards you leveling up and uh, getting that position you want uh, as a data professional. Okay, so number two, I would say learn Excel. So it's the number one spreadsheet software on the planet. Um, it is definitely something that you need to know. You need to at least learn the basics, okay? So learn basic functions like sum, average, uh, if. Learn how to make tables. Learn how to sort your data. Learn how to import data from CSV files. Learn about, and this is very important, learn the VLOOKUP function, right? Or if you want to be fancy, index match combination. But at a minimum, learn the VLOOKUP function. Uh, maybe I'll make a video on how to uh, how to use the VLOOKUP function later, but um, you can find that that information. That's very, very important. And then last but not least, learn, uh, learn how to make uh, pivot tables. Um, um, you can make uh, very nice pivot tables in Excel and it is very useful for aggregating the data, filtering the data. So again, Excel is not going anywhere anytime soon. Just know that Excel is not a database and a lot of places like to use it like it's a database. Um, talking to you financial analysts, um, just re just remember, Excel is not a database. The dangers in Excel is you can have data coming from all these different ungoverned places, kind of wild west, just getting things here and there and mashing them up. But for quick and dirty, Excel, you can't beat it. And you have to know Excel if you're going to, uh, to work in data. Now, last but not least, you're going to need to learn a data visualization tool. I am partial to Tableau. But, you know, Power BI is an excellent option as well. I'm just partial to ta Tableau. So I'm going to tell you, um, I'm going to give you some, drop some Tableau knowledge on you, so to speak. Tableau, easy to use, hard to master. Um, but it is very useful. Once you've got those uh, insights from, uh, from SQL, you need to be able to communicate it in a way that people can consume, that the business users can consume. So you need a visualization software. So with Tableau, here's what you want to learn to, to get started. I would say get started with Tableau Public. It's something that you can download and use for free, right? It has most of the same features as the desktop version of Tableau, but it's free. The only difference is you have to save your work in the cloud as opposed to on your desktop. And, you know, there's there's less connectors to uh, to some of the data sources, but for learning purposes, you can connect to uh, Excel or a text file, and you know you will be you will be setting yourself up from success just by downloading Tableau Public. So that's number one. Okay, so some of the skills you want to learn in Tableau: you want to learn how to connect the data, obviously. Um, you want to learn how to filter your data. You want to learn how to build text tables. You want to learn how to make bar charts. Bar charts, very important. You want to learn how to how to make maps. And then very important, you want to learn how to make calculated fields. So start with that. Tableau has good, um, they have pretty good training for getting started. You can go on the Tableau site and there are videos basically how to get started. Obviously watch my channel uh, after you've kind of gone over the basics in the Tableau video series, but come back to my channel uh, if you have specific questions. I've got a lot of Tableau videos and that's why you're here. So, um, you know, you're going to set yourself up for success by learning a visualization tool. And again, Power BI, also a good option. Um, if you're in the Microsoft stack, it's, it's something that's already there. If you have Office 365, it comes with that license. Um, you can you can uh, download Power BI Desktop and start using it. I may be parcel to Tableau, but um, if I come across a client and they have Power BI, I've got to use Power BI, right? You have to be able to adapt and use the tools to solve the problem. Now, optionally, I would say once you tackle those three, 
learn a data wrangling tool. That's going to help you as well. So some data wrangling tools that are out there. There's um, Tableau Prep Builder. If you have a full Tableau license, you get a um, uh, you can download Tableau Prep Builder uh, as well. Um, there is Alteryx. Very powerful tool. Would love to get my hands on an Alteryx license if someone is is listening um, for for a shout out. But very powerful tool. It's going to be a little bit deeper, a um, little bit more capabilities than what you're going to get with a Tableau Prep Builder. There's another tool called Nime, K N I M E. It's open source. It's free. Does kind of the the same things. Uh, basically, it's a way to uh, have a, a visual means in which you can drag and drop and filter things and organize your data um, without using code per se. So a good data wrangling tool will help you as well. And I forgot Power Query. Power Query is integrated within Excel. Power Query is integrated within Power BI. It's just a another data wrangling tool that you can use um, the functions you have to use DAX or, or M code. Um, M code may be a little difficult to learn, but um, there is a lot of kind of just menu driven changes that you can do. It's a good it's a good tool to learn as well. So that is a Power Query. Now, some additional advice that I could give you beyond the technical side or the tool side is don't just be a commodity. Don't just be the person that knows one thing because if you say I'm just a Tableau developer I'm just a, a SQL uh, analyst your job can be outsourced <laughs> right you're a commodity at that point something that can be exchanged for something else very easily and you don't want to be a commodity okay so what you want to do is you want to learn how to take requirements have good communication skills, develop good writing skills, and then learn to present your analyses. So you wanna be a, a I'm gonna call you a full stack data analyst, uh, so to speak. These are people that are differentiators. They're not sitting around waiting for requirements and they're just going to do just that technical piece. These people are adding value and they're much more difficult to replace if they decide to leave. So you wanna be one of those people. Uh, in Michael Porter, if you know who Michael Porter is, you want to have a, um, a differentiation about yourself, right? You do not want to be a commodity. Differentiation will be your competitive advantage. Learn uh, all of the tools that I have told you about here. So now let's say that you've done these things and you're further down the line, you, you've got a hunger for more. You can move into um, predictive analytics, learn Python, um, you can learn machine learning, um, you can branch out into all these kind of uh, predictive and statistical areas if you so desire, if you want to stay on the technical path. Or you can level up, um, go back, get your MBA, get on the management uh, track if that interests you. So uh, I'm one of those strange cases. I have an MBA. Uh, I'm currently a senior manager, but my heart is in the data. I love working on the data. So I love getting my, my hands dirty. So I've been doing this for over 20 years. And so I just wanted to share with you my thoughts on what you need to do, what hard skills you need to have um, to position yourself for a career in data and kind of what are some of the, the softer things? What, what are some of the softer skills you need to have as well? So again, I enjoyed talking to you in this manner. I know I usually do screen captures and, and I'm showing you uh, what's, on the, uh, what's on the screen and, and helping you learn, but I really wanted to take the time to just talk about some of the things that I'm looking for um, when someone's saying that they know data and I have to interview them or the advice that I would give someone new to the field looking to switch or whether you're straight out of school. So hope you enjoyed what I have to share with you today. Um, this is Anthony Smoke. As always, get out there, do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.